Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of Does killing the Flood Juggernaut in Halo 2 count for points on MCC's scoring system? So this question actually came up in my one of my previous videos where I showed you guys what the Flood Juggernaut looks like in Halo 2 Anniversary graphics on MCC, which as a refresher, they're just uh, these untextured models, essentially. But uh, some people in the comments and on Discord did ask me if they count for points if you kill them, because if you remember, the engineers in Halo 1, even though they were cut just like the uh, Flood Juggernaut, they did count for points. So let's see if that applies here. But before we get into that, I want to first announce an awesome giveaway from my sponsor Insta Gaming, where you can win any game of your choice. You can find a link for this giveaway in the description below. So if you want to win the game of your choice, any game at all really, then all you have to do is click on the link below and enter the game you would like to win. You can also click some of the additional blue buttons for more chances to win as well. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And after doing all that, you're entered in the contest to win the game of your choice. But make sure to act fast because this giveaway is for this month only. Okay, so Flood Juggernaut, like their actual AIs and everything, their characters, are actually pretty hard to kill, even on easy difficulty. You need uh, a lot of power weapons to kill them quickly. If you don't have power weapons, <laughs> It's going to be pretty tough to kill them, but shotguns, rocket launchers, they'll do the trick. But otherwise, other weapons like plasma rifles, <laughs> um, they're not going to do much to the Flood Juggernaut. But as you can see, I've already killed a couple Flood Juggernaut here, and when Flood Juggernaut die, they don't have death animations out of the box, so they just, you know, freeze and stand in place. And that's how you know they're dead. Plus, if I aim at them, my reticle doesn't turn red anymore. But right now, you're actually seeing... Uh, quite a few uh, interesting animations that the Flood Juggernaut has that we don't get to see very often. Uh, but yeah, so so far I've killed uh, quite a few of them already. And I have not gotten a single point yet on the scoring system. Like, I'll, I'll kill another in a second just to prove to you guys, like, it wasn't an a another like enemy AI that killed them for me. But anyways, like, aside from, like, showing you guys another kill with the Flood Juggernaut, I can assure you that I, I did not, like, miss any of the kills and it wasn't an enemy AI that killed them for me. I really did not get any points on MCC scoring system for killing them. And I can tell you exactly why that's the case. And it, it's a pretty obvious reason, but it, it's basically because MCC does not recognize what a Flood Juggernaut is, the, the scoring system. Because the Flood Juggernaut is a cut, you know, creature, it's a cut um, biped, I mean, or enemy. And th there'd be no reason to add it into the MCC's tracking. The reason why the engineer in Halo 1 gets points though on MCC scoring system is because the engineer actually does exist in other Halo games like Halo Reach and ODST so it's getting it gets recognized from that because the scoring system seems to be a universal across uh, each Halo game but anyways I proceeded to the mission just in case and I, I avoided killing too many enemies just so it doesn't mess up the post game carnage report as you saw there I only killed a couple enemies like a couple brutes and jackals and you know they did probably count for points they were fine but let's uh, end the cutscene here, and on the post-game carnage report, though, uh, let's take a look at what kills I got. So like I said, I did kill a couple of brutes and jackals, and the only other kills I got were uh, on the Flood Juggernaut. In the post-game carnage report, they are registered, though. They are actually tracked, sort of. I don't get points for them, but they show up as Flood Combat kills in the post-game carnage report, which makes sense, because in, uh, in the tag, in the game files, for the Flood Juggernaut, it is classified as a flood combat form, so to speak, but it's you know titled a flood juggernaut, which is why it's not fully recognized and not assigned any points on the scoring system. But it is tracked as a flood combat form kill. But yeah, there you guys have it. That is uh, the answer to does killing the flood juggernaut count for points? Which is no, it does not count for points. But the kills are still tracked in the uh, scoring in the post game carnage report. You just don't get any points for it at all. But yeah, so there you guys have it. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like as always. And other than that, if there's anything else you need to look into or check out, just let me know in the comments. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.